We have Brona Decker here. Uh, can we get Jessa Braun up first, please? Hi, Brianna. Thanks so much for being here. Um, I remember uh, last night uh, we had talked a bit about um, it being kind of an opportunity to shake off the rust. So I'm just wondering what the difference was tonight um, and uh, how you went into this game. Yeah, I mean, obviously we weren't like too pleased with our performance last night. So heading in this game, obviously it was an opportunity for us to play at MSG. And, you know, obviously we were really excited about that. But if you watch our game tonight, our transition was a lot better than it was last night. Our D were stepping up into the play, creating a lot more opportunities for us forward. So, um, and obviously my line, uh, we really connected well, um, being able to find each other all over the ice, it helped. Thank you. All right, could we get Erica up next, please, from Founding Four? Thank you. Uh, Dex, when they give you an opportunity to talk about defense, uh, I know that was something on Friday that you talked to the young young players about, but uh, can you talk about that that uh, play that led to Skrupa's goal in the first period? Yeah, I mean, that's just coming back hard, um, you know, on the back check a little bit and not giving up on the play. I think if you look at the play, we it was a complete, you know, team effort. Um, Amanda was back, you know, skating hard back at, as well. So um, yeah, just try to find Haley right away. Uh, she made a huge, huge move, nice move um, on Maddie there. But, um, you know, I think you have to play both ends of the ice. You got to play a 200 foot game. That's one thing that I try to do every time I'm out there. And I hope young kids are able to watch um, the game and know that 200 foot players, definitely what you should try to aim for. Thank you. Uh, can we get Meg from the athletic? Brianna, um, obviously you've been a part of a lot of huge games on, on television, whether it's the Olympics, any other number of things, but was there, you know, what's the benefit of having a game of this quality at Madison Square Garden on television? Like, what does that do for the PWHPA right now? This is a huge step for us. Uh, we're trying to obviously build um, here and try to build something bigger and better for women's hockey and women's professional hockey. And this gave us huge visibility. That's what we strive to do every time that we're competing. And there's a lot of talented players on the ice, um, every single showcase that we have, but when we get a platform like this and being able to be broadcasted and play at MSG, that's a huge stage for us to play on. And I was really pleased with how we played and moved the puck and showed a lot of our skill. Thank you. Um, David from the puck authority, please. Brianna, thanks for doing this. Uh, I was just wondering if you could maybe assess your own performance over the past couple of days and how you think uh, you fared after, you know, not really playing a lot of hockey for the past year. So, um, yeah, just give an overall um, overview of the way you played. I mean, besides being tired out there, um, it was a lot of, lot of hockey, um, you know, in 48 hours compared to what we've been able to do. We obviously haven't been able to play a lot of games and there's quite a difference between game shape and practice shape. So that was a little bit of change, but you know what? We needed last night's game to get, get our bodies going. Um, you know, after sitting around in the hotel room, it was just a long day. So last night shook, shook off the rust and we were able to get back out there tonight and we, our legs felt a lot better, had a lot more jump, being able to move up and down the ice. Um, I think as a team, we just played a lot better today. Thank you. Uh, Mike Murphy from the Ice Garden, please. Hey, Brianna, thanks for doing this. Congrats on the win. Sure. When you don't get a lot of opportunity to play, to, get, to play together, and obviously you're more of a recent addition to this club, um, and you know the chemistry we got to see between you, Amanda, and Haley tonight was really evident just from the plays like, like uh, Erica had asked about before with that quick, you know, that great forecheck by Amanda that caused a turnover, and then you get the puck to Haley. How helpful is it to have that, you know, the national team history and, of course, the high school history with uh, with Amanda too. That familiarity for an event like this, you know, you can you know where your teammates are going to be. You have a better sense of chemistry. Yeah, we us three had an opportunity to play down in Florida a few weeks ago, so I think that helped to have a little bit, um, a little bit of practice with each other. But honestly, um, Amanda Castle is one of the smartest players um, in women's hockey, so she makes it easy out there to play with. And Haley Scrupa works her butt off every single shift, so. Um, you, you know, you're on a line with those two players and things are going to come a little bit easier for you. So, um, you know, honestly, we're just there moving the puck well um, and we communicate quite a bit. I think that helps makes the game a little bit more simple and you're finding those seams a lot quicker than you would. Thanks. Uh, Justin Levine, please. Hey, Brianna, thanks for doing this again. Um, so my question for you, I mean, we spoke with Amanda Pryor and she said that she's grown up with you, uh, played on the national team. So, you know, 
how did that help you tonight? And, you know, what do you attribute to your personal successes along with, you know, the, the obvious chemistry that you have with a line mate like her? Yeah, Amanda and I go way back. We grew up in Wisconsin together, played against each other actually quite a bit um, in boys hockey growing up. And then, uh, yeah, we went to high school together, played together there. And then and again, against each other in college. So we know each other's tendencies quite a bit, whether we're against each other or on the same line. Um, and having the, you know, being on the national team together and playing a lot together there um, has helped a lot. It took us only a couple of games um, down in Florida to get back to where we wanted to get. Um, like I said, she's one of the easiest players to play with. If you watch her passing skills, um, she makes it easy out there. So um, I love playing with her and I couldn't say enough great things about her. Thank you. Uh, can we get Har from the Ice Garden, please? Hi, Brianna. Thank you very much for talking to us again tonight. Uh, having games at MSG and then you, the United Center next weekend, it's a huge step for women's hockey. What do you think needs to happen kind of further to uh, build something bigger and better for the sport going further? Yeah, great question. I mean, honestly, I think just continuously having these opportunities like we had this weekend and we're going to have next weekend. I think it's huge that we're having back-to-back -back weekends um, with, you know, women's hockey being broadcasted. Um, you know, couldn't be more thankful to the Rangers and uh, the Blackhawks next week, just, you know, being supportive of what we're trying to do here. And uh, we're trying to create a better and bigger future for professional women's hockey. And the visibility is what we need. And hopefully we can continue to have that, um, you know, having other NHL clubs step up. Uh, we couldn't be more thankful if that happens. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Okay, we've got time for a couple more here. So can we get Jessa from She Scores, please? Hi again, Brianna. Um, so going off of how the games went uh, this weekend, what are you hoping the team carries into next weekend in Chicago? You know, I think we just got to use this game as momentum. Um, you know, we didn't come out on top this weekend. So um, if we, you know, trend, play our transition game like we did and move the puck like we did today, I think we'll be a little bit more successful in the first game next weekend. So it'll be a good week of, you know, getting back on the ice, you know, tuning some things up, um, whether we're with the team or you're away from the team. But regardless, uh, get some rest as well so that we can be ready to go for the next two games. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, it looks like that was the last question. So uh, thanks, Brianna. Awesome. Thank you, guys.